Hello and welcome to yet another episode of a Reddit thread in r slash kitty has gotten something like 200 responses so I actually wanted to go through them and try to provide a somewhat useful commentary. That was a long title. So you know this kind of things sometimes happen somebody like puts out a very general question in r slash kitty and then there's like 300 answers and usually they're interesting of course not it doesn't mean that doesn't mean that all of them should like immediately be implemented in kitty or anything it's food for discussion nonetheless it is food for discussions so today's question is what features is kitty missing according to you i have no interest in interest sorry in you know providing my answer my job here is mostly to do this boomer thing of going through the comments and you know try to provide commentary as I said. So let's start off with import export in a single option for all themes and personal light settings. That is actually something that I hear a lot and I, uh, I can understand why. So there kind of was something like this in terms of plasma config saver which is an applet that you can download and use. I have done a video about it and it allows you to save your entire curriculum configuration sorry of KD plasma to a single file and then load it and it works I had tried it however for the very latest version of KD plasma I've been told that it broke in an update I'm not sure I'm not following the project actively however do know that there is that project if you, and if you're interested in something like that there is this kind of option keep in mind however that being able to actually import and export in a single option for all themes and personal light settings it's kind of impossible to do in a safe and reliable way especially because a lot of KD settings rely on having something installed as an example uh, if I have set a custom plasma theme then I have that plasma theme installed and not necessarily have I installed it uh, through the KD store maybe I just downloaded the folder something like that which means that if I try to do that like if I try to export my settings and then import them back on a different computer well that different computer won't have any clue where to get this plasma theme from and I guess you could package it inside of a zip directly inside of the settings but that would be a mess because it would result in a file that's super big also sometimes you have stuff like Kvantu or Lightly which are third-party application themes which are based on like which are built with C++ and you can just you cannot just pack them in a zip you actually have to install it whenever you want to use them and that is not something that KD Plasma can do at all because it depends on the distro it depends on whether they are packaged if, if they aren't then you have to build it yourself and KD Plasma can't like start building stuff on your computer so that is completely unfeasible so it is something extremely complex because KD Plasma customiz customization is so powerful and not every Everything you can just uh, put into a folder and it's gonna work. How will you actually export all of KD Plasma settings? So what Plasma Config Saver does, which is interesting, is that it saves just the config files, which means that if you try to use the same config files into a computer that does not have the same Plasma theme or does not have Lightly or Kvantum, if you're using them, it's just not gonna work because you don't have them installed and nobody except for you can install it uh, for you. So you have to do it yourself. <laughs> so, I mean, I get a point. There is something like that, but to implement it safely and robustly is borderline impossible for us, I think. Centralized config directory. This is very interesting. There has actually been a discussion after reading this comment in the KDE off topic room, I think. And the thing is, to have a centralized config directory for all KDE files is absurd. Like <laughs> it's an absurd request. Why is that? So KDE is not a desktop environment. Let me repeat that. KDE is not a desktop environment. KDE is a community of people that does a lot of project going from a desktop environment, which is called Plasma and not KDE, but also lots of applications. 
for, as an example, but also frameworks, all kind of stuff. So where's the issue? Well, it makes no sense whatsoever to try to take all of this, a desktop environment, lots of applications, frameworks, and put all of the config files, all, all these things together in a single directory. That would mean that your Plasma fi config files and Krita config files and Dolphin config files or Discover config files and frameworks file, all of these things which are very different are all stored together. That makes no sense. Just like it makes no sense to have a, like if somebody asked to, uh, for Firefox to save their own config uh, data for Firefox in the same place where Plasma saves its own. Firefox is Firefox, Plasma is Plasma, different things which with different, you know, scopes, it doesn't make sense to try to make them the same when they save uh, the config files. Same goes for all of the stuff that KDE does. Now you could make a point that some uh, KDE products like Plasma, as an example, do not have their config files like clean enough. Like uh, I think Plasma config files are split in a couple of directories, I think, if I recall correctly, and which is a fair point. <laughs> of course, uh, the reason behind that is technical issues, which I won't get into, but just keep in mind that having a KDE config directory doesn't actually make sense at all. You could have like a centralized plasma config directory. Another thing could argue for that. Currently we don't have due to we don't have that due to technical reasons. Touchpad pinch to zoom. This is funny because the first time I read this, I immediately tried to do pinch to zoom, like to see what happened. And this happened. So pinch to zoom actually works in Firefox and that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, not very exciting, not very kiddy. It is a fair request. It will it is very much a cool to have. Uh current I am personally not aware of any work in that direction. However, this is very, this is stuff that is directly linked to Qt, the framework that actually draws things on the screen for us. And I don't follow that that much, so I am not sure. Per virtual desktop wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, um, okay, first of all, that is activities, like activities are meant to address that, just like the second comment is, and widgets, uh, that is the point of activities. You have different activities and each activity can have its own wallpaper and its own widgets. That is the whole point. Virtual desktops is something which is much lighter as a concept. It's, you know, just virtual desktops. That is multiple desktops where the same thing happens. If you start uh, asking for more customization on virtual desktops on top of the one that we already have, which does the same thing for activities, you're asking virtual desktops to kind of become activities, which is something that could be discussed. The issue is the complexity that this would bring. We always have to think that everything we do will bring some complexity with us. And I think that's really what killed off uh, activities, like very cool concept with its own flows if necessary, but super complex. And uh, even the implementation for me often it has too many bugs. Uh, so I just use virtual desktops at, this, uh, desktops at this point. I think that if we try now to add a lot of stuff to virtual desktops, it's gonna become a mess, like to maintain the bug. I, I'm really not a big fan of it, but that is, I'm not a Kwin maintainer. So take that of course with a grain of salt as everything I say. Customize touchpad gestures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the answer, which is to use libinput gesture, as far as I know, doesn't address that at all. Like I think libinput gesture implements its own gestures that are not really integrated in KDK Win. So I, I would suggest against it. I mean, if it works for you, it works for you, but we should have some way to customize the touchpad gestures. I fully agree. And I think there's nobody that is against this. Um, it's just a matter of actually implementing this. Again, as far as far as I'm aware, there is nobody actually working on this actively, but for this in particular, I might be wrong because I saw some messages regarding this, but it's really just a matter of finding somebody to do this. Nobody is against it. KD Connect, this is another good, good example, I think. Would be nice to have a possibility to sync directories and not only send files. Okay, again, uh, this is very much a matter of complexity. To do something like that is very tough, like genuinely tough, which means people need 
like more than one people need to develop it and then maintain it through time and it's going to be complex it's going to take work time which by itself is like not an issue if not that we have sync thing sync thing does exactly that like it's the whole reason sync thing exists if i've talked about sync thing before if you don't know it try it out very cool and it does that it does sync uh syncing for directories between phones and uh, other devices on the same network so it doesn't make sense at all for kd connect people to try to re-implement exactly what the sync thing already does but the result would probably be worse because sync thing has been developed for a lot of time so another possibility would be to try to implement sync thing inside of kd connect but at this point just use sync thing because there is a tool to do that and try to take trying to take that tool and put it forcefully into another tool that does something different especially if this use case is very complex like sync thing directories syncing directories is not simple it's gonna create a mess i don't know so my suggestion here would be use sync thing notifications on the lock screen as far as i know are being uh, developed i think i'm not exactly sure by how how's the work going i haven't followed that i just know that somebody somewhere is kind of working on it so it should come eventually which is great news. And I fully agree that we need them. We totally need them. Rock solid stability is something very interesting that is completely different from what has been asked so far. And to be honest, uh, I agree. Like I would like the plasma in general to be solid. Keep in mind, however, that rock solid stability is often mutually exclusive with having lots of features just like the one asked in the post previously like if you want to have rock solid stability then you totally don't want to have her uh, widgets wallpaper like being able to customize the wallpaper depending on the virtual desktops you don't want to have widgets different widgets depending on the virtual desktops all of these kind of things create complexity which decreases stability necessarily could with time like make sure that they work nicely but that is not the path towards rock solid stability especially in considering that we do already have a super high degree of flexibility which is already causing us some headaches you might not realize it but to make a stupid example you know how we have plasma themes which allow you to customize plasma in any way like the look of plasma that sounds very cool up until i have to implement something new like a, a better look for the switch okay uh, the switch component you know the one that goes left and right i have to revamp how it looks to make it look decent it's gonna be a mess <laughs> and it would be super easy if we didn't have themes at all but we do have which means it's going to be a mess because because of a lot of reasons and on top of just that mess just to implement that switch for the default theme there's also a lot of the question of will third party plasma themes be able to customize this component as they want can we offer more uh, customizability these kind of things it creates a lot of like complexity and headaches necessarily but it's why we do KDE right so I agree and uh, keep in mind that stuff Ability and lots of new features kind of mutually exclusive up to a certain extent uh, regarding out of the box shared directories nfs and samba i don't know about nfs but i'm sure samba is supported out of the box with dolphin if you do have the correct bug package yeah, as the comment is replying to it wasn't super like polished uh, up until recently i think that in the last year or so there has been quite some merge requests to polish it up which was nice so it should work i have no clue whatsoever about nfs to be honest separate virtual desktops per physical monitor is another of those complex things to address it's not that necessarily we shouldn't have that but uh not super <laughs> easy to address it but I, I think it's maybe more easy to I, I don't know because we already rely somewhat to the fact that this doesn't happen i don't know about this one i, I should like talk to the qwin developers so i don't know better tiling but there is something on the way so there is the patch from marco which i showcased on this channel on the way indeed not just that though you can have bismuth and uh, other uh, kwin scripts 
to do that. And I really want to emphasize that the fact that these scripts are third party doesn't mean at all that they are any worse compared to if they were built in. That is a very important point to make. So I see people asking like, I'd like something baked in. Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure of it? Because sometimes the stuff that you do baked in is significantly worse compared to what exists th third party. Because KD Plasma is so customizable that what for other projects is usually baked in for KD Plasma is third party. Like usually other projects do have this plugin system. I'm not talking about like, no, but other projects much different from how KD Plasma works have a plugin system that is not exposed to the user, but it is for like internal development, similarly to KWIN effects. effects. And uh, in KD Plasma, all of this is exposed. So a developer can add an effect or a script and the user perceives that as third party, even though it's not as far as quality goes, you know, it's it's as good as if it was baked in. It's basically baked in. Desktop cube. I don't know, maybe it will come back. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. Like uh, there was a developer that has uh, ported back to QML the flip switch and the cover switch. And uh, they were interested in porting the desktop cube as well, I think. However, there was this thing that when they ported the flip cover, flip uh, switch and cover switch effects, there has been a negative reaction because they hadn't brought them back exactly as they looked before. They had some like blurring and stuff. They looked prettier and of course people were annoyed by the how it looked slightly different and they opened back report and then they complained a lot and that is exactly not how you try to convince that developer to continue working on this kind of stuff if you start complaining about the work they've done and opening back reports it's difficult for them to find the motivation to go on and also bring back the desktop cube especially because you know they are probably doing it on their free time just like I am. So be kind if you want this kind of things. And it's not like it was considered a silly trivial thing and let go. It, it's that A, the number of people that used it are a minority, a small fraction of KD Plasma users. And, and that is a fact. You can go around it. That doesn't necessarily mean by itself that we should get rid of it. We don't get rid of things just because they're used by a fraction of people using KD Plasma, obviously. However, it was also creating issues. It was legacy, difficult to understand and maintain C++ code base. And uh, at a certain point, the cost of trying to maintain alive these effects was greater than uh, the benefit that it uh, gave us. And at that point, uh, it was let go. To get the desktop cube as well uh, back, sorry, then you would have to have it as a QML effect, which is much easier to maintain. And, uh, you know, with the code revamped. And uh, so far, as far as I know, nobody has done that. I think it was kind of in progress, at least as, at a certain point, but I didn't follow the discussion. Fancy zones are coming. Dynamically, dynamically created virtual desktops. I'm pretty sure there's a Kwin script that does that, so that we already have that. So that's nice. Automatic automatic back message and drink ice dispenser. I fully agree. This is like the top priority kitty feature that I would look for right now, especially with this terrible chair that I have. The ability to rearrange the position of tree icons is again a very good example of complexity and stability. Like nobody, literally nobody is against the idea of being able to reorder tree icons. However, when you actually start thinking about the fact that you have to implement it code-wise and you look at the code that is in the tree, well, you start being like, um, what about no? I think that the proposal was actually closed for in the past by some developers who said, okay, no, this uh, would bring so much code complexity that it's not worth it. Then I think it was opened again. So right now there is an open bug report for this. One day I would like to try to implement that. But if I see that the code is a mess, the code 
is a mess and I won't touch it. It's as simple as that. Stackable or multi-row panels, you want to kill me. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that is something so complex. Is it though? Multi-row, huh? It's not necessarily complex now that I think about it. Why are you giving me these ideas? Come on. It's like, in theory, I guess it's possible to have multi-row. However, being able to have a UI for it and then be able to go to edit mode and then reorganize the widgets between the two rows. Oh, I really don't want to deal with that, honestly. I will give a shot to see how it works. Maybe it's like super easy and I just have to enable a couple of things. It's not a terrible idea, but again, the panel is a fundamental component of Kitty Plasma. It has to be rock stable. If I see that it brings any complexity that shouldn't be the panel in, no way I'm implementing that. The panel is already too complex for what it's supposed to do. So no, 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 no. no. Search in app menus exist. Uh, you do get it, I think, in the help menu of the application if you're in Wayland. I think that is a thing or was a thing at some point. I don't know, but you do also get the K command bar uh, component, which is super cool, which is Control Alt I, which does that. You can search through the app menu by pressing Control Alt I in like a lot of KD apps. Not all of them, but a lot, like Kate. Use the command bar in Kate because it's so cool. Alt Control I. So it has been half an hour since I started talking. I think that's way more enough, but if you want some comment about something specific, you can always ask me. If I don't answer to your comment, sorry, sometimes it's busy. I saw comments which are like, why did you reply to my previous comment? Sometimes I'm busy, sorry, I try my best. But thanks everybody for following along and um, what I'll see you tomorrow I guess with yet another video bye I forgot to stop recording